My work involves helping mostly grassroots non-profit organisations in developing countries figure out how to use mobile technology in their work. In 2002, I was actually running a primate sanctuary in Nigeria and I was due to stay there for another year or so. Uh, I broke my leg, which was a, a huge, um, actually a very, very good career move as it turned out because I actually ended up back home in the Channel Islands where I was born. I was asked to try and find out how the national parks could send messages to get the communities around the park really involved in the conservation effort. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything that did that that didn't require the internet. A few months later, I I was actually waiting to watch Match of the Day with a, a bottle of beer and uh, just suddenly thought, how about plugging a, a cell phone into a computer with a cable? You can then send them all a message. They can then respond and you can start to engage with them in a two-way, almost immediate fashion. So when I wrote Frontline SMS, I didn't really have any particular use in mind. It was really just a general communication platform to allow nonprofits to spread whatever message they wanted to spread. But other uses have really blossomed. It's running rural healthcare networks in places like Malawi. Uh, it's running agriculture projects in places like El Salvador and Cambodia. It really can do almost anything. These kind of technologies are hugely powerful because they can visualize very, very quickly a problem. For us, we, we get football scores, we order pizza, we text our friends and organize a Friday night. But in countries such as Zimbabwe, it can be uh, a lifesaver for people.